Never do this before refueling. 90% get it wrong. Before you refuel your car again, stop. Because what most drivers do right before pumping gas is quietly destroying their fuel system, wrecking sensors, and even increasing their risk of a fuel vapor explosion. And here's the shocking truth. Over 90% of drivers make the same mistake every week, thinking they're saving time or protecting their engine, but instead, they're shortening its lifespan by tens of thousands of miles. One former Shell engineer called it the most common and most expensive mistake made at the gas station. In this video, I'll expose exactly what you should never do before refueling the hidden science behind why it ruins engines, and the correct refueling routine that top mechanics and fuel chemists swear by. And stick around until the end, because the final tip could literally prevent your car from catching fire at the pump. Mistake number one, leaving the engine running while refueling. It might sound obvious, but according to National Fire Protection Association, NFPA data, Nearly 1 in 10 drivers refuel with the engine still idling. Here's why that's a massive mistake. Gasoline vapors are heavier than air. They sink and linger around the fuel nozzle area. When your engine is running, the alternator, cooling fan, and ignition system generate tiny electrical arcs and heat sources that can ignite those vapors under the right conditions. Even worse, Modern vehicles with EVAP purge systems can trigger vapor suction mid-fill, pulling raw gasoline fumes into the engine intake and overloading the mixture, which may trigger a rough idle or even a stall after refueling. What to do instead? Always turn off your engine completely before pumping gas. Wait at least 10 seconds after shutoff to let fuel vapors stabilize before removing the cap. Never leave the ignition in accessory mode. It still powers certain fuel sensors that can be affected by vapor flow. You're not just preventing fire, you're saving your injectors, your charcoal canister, and your oxygen sensors from vapor contamination. Mistake number two, topping off the tank. After the pump clicks, this one might surprise you because most people think a few extra cents of gas is no big deal but topping off after the automatic nozzle clicks is one of the fastest ways to damage your EVAP system, a system designed to trap and recycle fuel vapors. Every modern car since 1996 uses a charcoal canister that captures vapors and keeps them from escaping into the atmosphere. When you overfill, raw liquid gasoline gets forced into that canister. What happens next? The charcoal clogs and becomes saturated, vapors can't circulate properly, the check engine light comes on, fuel trims and idle quality suffer. And here's the kicker. Once that canister's ruined, replacement costs range from $500 to Calrin $200, and most dealerships won't warranty it if they find out you were topping off. The fix? When the pump clicks off, stop. That click is triggered by a vacuum sensor detecting full tank pressure. Anything beyond that forces liquid fuel where only vapor should go. Mistake number three, opening the gas cap too fast. It's such a simple action, twist and open, but doing it too fast can actually harm your fuel system. When your car has been sitting or driving in hot conditions, the fuel tank becomes pressurized. Yank that cap open too quickly and the pressure equalizes violently pushing vaporized fuel straight into your EVAP lines, or worse, your face. This sudden pressure change also confuses the fuel tank pressure sensor, which may log a false EVAP leak code, PFRM55 or po 4 c 6 Correct method. Slowly twist the cap counterclockwise until you hear a faint hiss. Wait two seconds for the pressure to normalize, then fully remove the cap. It's small, but it's exactly what every professional mechanic and fuel chemist does when refueling test vehicles. Mistake number four, refueling while using your phone. You've seen the warning signs, no cell phones, 
But have you ever wondered why? It's not about the phone's signal, it's about static discharge. When you handle your phone, your body builds static electricity, especially in dry climates or when wearing synthetic clothing. Now combine that with gasoline vapors and a metal pump nozzle, and you've got all the ingredients for an ignition spark. According to a Petroleum Equipment Institute report, there were over 150 documented static-related fires at gas stations between 2000 and 2022, nearly all involving drivers who re-entered their cars or handled phones during fueling. What to do instead? Leave your phone in the car while fueling. Always touch a metal part of your vehicle, like the door frame, before touching the nozzle to discharge static safely. If you must use your phone, step away from the fuel pump first. Even if ignition risk seems low, static can also confuse your car's CAN sensors, sending false electrical signals that disrupt EVAP purge or fuel trim readings mid-fill. Mistake number five, ignoring the fuel grade label. Regular is regular, right? Wrong. Not all 87 fuels are the same and using the wrong octane or ethanol blend can silently destroy your injectors and fuel pump over time. High-performance engines designed for 91 plus octane rely on knock sensors to detect pre-ignition. When you feed them low-grade 87 fuel, the ECU pulls timing, reducing power and leaving carbon buildup on pistons. On the other hand, using premium fuel in an engine designed for regular won't add power it can actually worsen fuel atomization in low compression engines, leading to rough idling. Then there's the ethanol factor. E10, 10% ethanol is fine for most cars, but E15 and E85 can dry out rubber seals and injectors in vehicles not designed for it. The safe rule, follow your fuel cap or manual exactly, not just what's cheapest. Avoid mixing different octane levels in the same tank. If you store your car long-term, use non-ethanol or stabilized fuel to prevent varnish and gumming. Remember, octane isn't about power. It's about resistance to premature combustion. The wrong grade means your car's computer constantly correcting itself. And that's how long-term performance quietly dies. Mistake number six, running on empty before refueling. Here's a mistake that almost every driver is guilty of letting the fuel gauge dip below E before refilling. You might think you're just stretching your gas money, but what you're actually doing is starving your fuel pump, the heart of your fuel system. Modern fuel pumps are electric and cooled by the fuel itself. When you drive on an almost empty tank, the pump gets exposed to air pockets instead of liquid fuel. This causes it to overheat, and over time, the metal windings inside start to burn out. According to Bosch Automotive Engineering, running below a quarter tank regularly increases fuel pump wear by over 60%. And once that pump fails, you're looking at $600 to $1,300 in repair costs, all because of one more day of driving on fumes. What to do instead? Always refuel when your gauge hits a quarter tank. In summer, this prevents vapor lock. In winter, it prevents condensation buildup that leads to water in your fuel. That small habit keeps your pump cool, your injectors lubricated, and your wallet safe. Mistake stir seven, refueling. Right after the tanker truck fills the station, you pull into a gas station and see a big tanker truck pumping fresh fuel into the underground tanks. That's when most people think, perfect timing, fresh gas. But here's the truth, that's the worst time to refuel. When tanker trucks fill underground storage tanks, they stir up sediment, water, and rust that sit at the bottom. These impurities stay suspended in the fuel for hours. If you pump right after, all that debris gets sucked straight into your car's tank, and from there, into your injectors and filters. The Automotive Petroleum Institute found that engines refueled within two hours of a station delivery showed a 27% higher particle contamination rate in their filters. The safe rule, if you see a tanker at the station, wait at least four every six hours before fueling, or go to another station 
Use stations with modern filtration systems and high turnover, like busy freeway stations. Their tanks are cleaner. Clean gas isn't about price, it's about timing. Mistake number eight, using additives. Right before filling up, fuel system cleaners and octane boosters can be great, but only if used correctly. Adding them at the wrong time or in the wrong sequence can actually neutralize their effect or even damage your injectors. Here's the science. Most additives need direct contact with existing fuel to mix properly. If you pour them in right before refueling, the incoming gasoline churns and causes the detergent to foam. That foam traps air, leaving the additive unevenly distributed and less effective. Some additives even contain polyetheramine, PEA, which reacts with raw oxygen at the fuel nozzle and forms sludge if it's exposed too long. Best practice? Always pour the additive just before your next drive, not immediately before fueling. Let the additive mix naturally as you drive. That's when it activates. Choose products from proven labs like Chevron Tecron, BG44K, or Liqui Moly, not random gas station bottles. Even a $10 mistake here can shorten injector life or clog the high pressure rail on direct injection engines. Mistake number nine, parking the wrong way at the pump. This one's all about fuel nozzle angle and air displacement. Every car's filler neck has a vent tube that helps air escape while the tank fills. If you park at an angle where the filler neck sits higher than the tank, air gets trapped inside and the automatic shutoff clicks early. Even though your tank isn't full, you end up losing up to half a gallon each time you fill up and pay for airspace instead of fuel. The trick? Always park so that your fuel cap is level or slightly lower than the opposite side. Avoid slanted pump stations or curbside pumps that tilt your car. Professional drivers and fleet operators have known this secret for years. That's how they squeeze extra mileage out of every tank. Mistake Stern 10, forgetting to tighten the gas cap properly. This might sound small, but it's one of the top five causes of the dreaded check engine light. A loose or poorly sealed gas cap lets oxygen seep into the system, throwing off the EVAP pressure readings. Your car's computer sees that as a vapor leak and instantly triggers an emissions warning. Even worse, that unsealed vapor escape wastes volatile fuel molecules, meaning your car literally evaporates gas into thin air. The right way, tighten your gas cap until you hear at least three clicks. If your car has a capless filler system, keep the flap clean and free of debris. Replace your gas cap every five years or 60,000 miles. The rubber seals dry out. This tiny five second step can save you from unnecessary diagnostic bills. Bonus tip, don't trust the distance to empty meter. Your dashboard's distance to empty display is not an exact science. It's a rolling estimate based on your last few driving cycles. So when it says 30 miles left, that doesn't mean you've got exactly 30 miles before you're stranded. It could be off by as much as 10 to 20 miles. Running that close to empty forces your car to pull air, sediment, and water from the bottom of the tank, the exact place all contaminants settle. Better habit. Treat your one tower four tank mark as your empty. Don't gamble with that last few miles. It's the dirtiest and most damaging fuel your car will ever use.